Hello and welcome back to another Lego Man Cave video. For the city in this video, we have got another new build. Finally getting the detective agency built. So here it is, our mini detective agency, but it also comes with a pool hall and a barber's as well as the detective agency. This set looks awesome. I've been eyeballing it for a while. There's still a few more I want to get. I've sorted the bags one, two and three. And that is a pretty cool separator. I've never seen one like that. Looks a bit like a funky lady's toy, but still, we ain't going to get into that. So I'm going to start getting building on this and then find somewhere in the city to put it. But before I get into that, I just want to give you a quick span of the city. I have done a couple of lives. The first one, I couldn't post it like for people to rewatch, but we built this big Lego truck. So that is now on its way to the Lego shop, ready to drop off a delivery. I uh, haven't put the stickers on it, but either way, I have built a uh, pallet. So that is inside the back along with all the sets. This has been pulled off because I'm going to put something else here. I'm going to resort this. And then I've done a second live where you can see we built the Nova ship and we've got Star-Lord and whoever that's supposed to be, the bad guy. But again, that was my second live. So I also said things I want to change, whoops, things I want to change, things I want to do, things that I've added, uh, things I need to sort out. So yeah, I'm going to see how much I can actually get sorted in this video. So I will start off by saying I am quite impressed. I've emptied on bags one, two and three, but all the doors and the windows come bagged up like this to save them from getting scratched. So that is a really, really good start and a big positive. Okay, so bag one is done. I'm kind of mixed feelings. It looks good on the outside. It's minifigure scale, it's got some nice little details to it, but I don't get, it's an open back, but yet there's no interior at all for it. What's that all about? And I've just flicked through the book as well, and there's just no interior throughout the rest of it either. I mean, the outside of it looks fantastic, don't get me wrong. That's what it will look like come the end. But there's just no interior at all. So I'm not quite sure why that is. But again, you know, for the I can always sort that out myself at a later date. That's not a problem. But the outside looks good. Obviously, I have to change the lamppost to a black one so it matches... Um, obviously what I've already got but still for a mini build that's not too bad so there's two layers done so far it's a very simplistic build I mean I like it it's all right it's not something I'd want to probably buy again the design of it's not the best but I do like certain parts of it so for example, I like how they've done these. I like how they've done the pool sign, how they add the scissors and the lamps. But again, you can get that on most sets. How they add this little balcony. You know, little features like that, I do like. But then you come to the back and it just, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to match up very well. It doesn't look very good. Plus, as I say, there's no interior either. You got a door to go through, so that's one bonus that kind of joins them up, I suppose. But yeah, I'm still undecided. I'm going to get it finished and then see what's what with it after that. While I'm building the detective office, my lizard 
giant figure showed up. Not the best quality, but there you go. Just goes to show not everything from AliExpress is brilliant. So I'm back finishing this build and I'm noticing they seem to add a count piece for no reason. So it's like you got two two by ones there. Why not just put a one by four? Or well, you've got like two, two, one, two, three. You know, you could easily fill that up. I don't understand why they add so many pieces to make out that the set is better than it actually is. So here is the real thing finished. Ta-da! Now, you may spot straight away that looks a bit different to that. That's because those 1x3 tiles just will not sit onto there. They keep falling off. And after a while, I've just got fed up. I'm not going to mess around gluing them on or anything else. I might end up just taking that off completely. But that is what we are left with. So no minifigures, no interior. It is a nice little build. I really don't think I'm going to be rushing to try and get the rest of the sets because there is a lot of them. But I'm really not in a rush. If that's what this one comes as, I don't think I'm going to be rushing to go and get any more. But at the same time, it's not a bad little set. It's going to fit in nicely into the city. So now I'm going to find a place to put it. Okay, so for now, it's been added just here. So because it's an open back, I'm going to have all my open backs across here. I've been thinking of a few ideas of a change around with the city, trying to do more building squash together, back to back, side to side, try and do a loop of a track around the city, or at least have it so it comes down and round there maybe, or just having a row of this and then the road and then the track, so that the track can go, I don't know. I'm still playing around with a few different ideas, but for now, that, it's going to sit there. If you're in the top, you get a good view of the train coming past. Yet again, no interior, no minifigures that comes with it. But at the same time, I've got no interior there. I've got no interior there. No interior down there. Uh, everything else, I think, has got interior. So there is... Oh, and the jewellery shop and the fire station. <laughs> So there is a few things that need interior anyway, but that ain't too bad, I suppose. I reckon I'm going to be taking that off. We have got something similar on here. So I could always try and repeat that kind of things, make it look a bit better. But at the same time, that is my review of this little detective agency. I love the parts. I love the technique. There is a lot of wasted parts. The roofs look cool. The design is cool. You know, the overall of the building isn't too bad. It just seems very fiddly. Very odd pieces placed. You know, the bricks don't exactly sit together very well either. It's not a smooth fit, no matter how much you mess with them. And as I say, with no interior and no minifigures either... I don't know, I'm not massively keen. The fronts look amazing, I suppose that's good. So if I do have where you don't see any of the backs and it's only the fronts you're looking at, then yeah, that's perfect. I have got a little fan called Leo who goes to my son's school. He's been watching all the videos, absolutely loving it. So here's a shout out to you, Leo, just like I promised you. And now is the time I'm gonna get this done as well ready three two one and it's done so the doors and everything's all been swapped over it is now officially designed for the left hand side of the road i've even added another sticker on because we always have a sticker on the side well a number on the side just to show us 
what bus it is from when you're standing on the path. So that is pretty awesome. So now, got to go and put this in the city and we're going to put it right next to the new bus stop which I've also just finished so it's going to have to go at a bit of an angle a bit of a dodgy uh, corner but there you go so weird so I have got to add this is the mini build and it's not the original one, obviously the original one is bigger, it has owls next to the uh, scissors and it is a modular and it has interior whereas this doesn't. So I think this is more my mistake, I've just looked back on it on the reviews and stuff like that and it does quite clearly say exactly what I've said, no interior, no figures, no backing but a great space filler, a great little build for what it is and it was only 20 quid. So, I can't complain too much. I would have preferred to have interior or have the original. Should have looked properly first, but it'll do. It'll do. So, the detective agency's done. The bus is done. The bus stop's done. And again, another little shout out for Leo. So, thank you all very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.